Hey everyone, it's Matijn here and I'm so glad that you're back because today we'll find out in just a few single steps what the new Xiaomi Robot Cleaner X20 Plus with a multifunctional cleaning station can do for just 450 euros. So let's jump right into it. First of all, a big thanks to Xiaomi and even more to their official reseller techprint.nl for providing this device for review purposes. Now let's take a closer look at the Xiaomi X20 Plus, our price breaker. Let's quickly check what we get in the box. So after opening up the box, we see first of all the quick start guide. In the box we have of course the base station. And with the base station comes the robot cleaner, along with all the accessories you need to get it up and running. Now let's examine the robot itself. The X20 Plus features laser navigation and a spring-loaded bumper. It has obstacle avoidance with a type of camera for detecting various obstacles. On top there's a power button and a button to send it back to the charging station. Flipping the cover open, we find the dust container. Yes, you did hear it correctly. Dust container. It's not a dust and water tank container, but more on that later. Which can be removed by the way, and emptied. And a small Wi-Fi indicator light. The bottom includes four cliff sensors, a small front wheel, a side brass, a main floating brass, spring-loaded wheels and two rotating mop pads at the back. The mop pads can be lifted, but there is no sensor. So carpets must be marked manually in the app to avoid mopping over them. The cleaning station includes tanks for fresh and wastewater. They're super easy to reach, as well as a dust container, which is located over here. A point to consider is the lack of the possibility to add a cleaning solution cartridge, meaning the mopping is done with just water. The station uses a normal cold air stream to clean the mop pads, which is fine for the price. The 4 liter water tank means less frequent refilling, supporting mopping for up to 280 square meters. One of the most interesting part is navigation, because the robot uses laser navigation as well as a camera for obstacle avoidance. In our living room, which serves as the test area, I place three obstacles throughout the house. A cable, socks and my flip-flops. Obstacle avoidance showed some good work, but struggled often with small cables as you can see. However, it navigated around all the other objects without bumping into it. The robot lacks carpet detection, so it either avoids or drives over unmarked carpets. This is quite a downside, as it means the robot may drag wet mop pads over carpets, potentially causing issues. And if you think about it, it's kinda weird that the X20 Plus cannot detect carpets with its camera and cliff sensors, but is able to detect other stuff on the floor. Luckily, the moment you have marked the carpets in the app, the device will lift the mops and take care of it separately, as you can see by the lines here. The robot frequently returns to the station to re-wet the mop pads due to the absence of an internal water tank, which can be quite inconvenient and disrupt the cleaning flow. On top of that, the total cleaning time takes longer due to the travel and mop pads cleaning time. And good to know, the robot drives straight lines using its laser turret to navigate parallel to a wall, set borders or marked areas. For the cleaning performance, I set up a test. On our floor, I spread 25 grams of rice and 25 grams of sugar within one square meter to demonstrate the pickup capabilities. The motor was set to the second highest setting, strong. In the first run, because of the huge amount of rice, it spread it even more, while the sugar pickup was already insanely good. The second run basically cut all the remaining pieces. I did the exact same thing, but then on the carpet. 25 grams of rice and 25 grams of sugar, with the same second highest setting, strong. Here, to my surprise, it did a fantastic job. All the rice was gone from the first pass and only some sugar in the deeper grooves were left. After a second pass, everything was gone. So my wife and I have a pretty large living room and we love the fact that the robot is cleaning basically every single day or every other single day. Uh, and it just leaves us with some corner cleaning to do during the weekend. For mopping, I did test it with some coffee milk and ketchup. The robot did a great job here once again and barely left any residue.
considering the price tag of 450 euros, I believe the results are great. The mop pads get cleaned in the station, not perfectly, but more than good to continue mopping. Now let's take a look at the app. So, on the main page you see a map of your home with the three most important parameters. The square meters of cleaning area, the duration and battery status. You can set specific cleaning areas, select rooms and adjust settings like water flow and suction power. You can control the vacuum remotely using the Mi Home slash Xiaomi Home app and even with smart voice control through Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. Adding the carpet onto the map is super easy too. Diminishing the small drawback of not being able to detect it. My final opinion on the Xiaomi X20 Plus. It's a solid device for only 450 euros. Compared to the dreamy L10s Ultra, which funny enough is the manufacturer of this device as well, costs more than twice as much. The X20 Plus might lack high-end features such as automatic carpet detection, an onboard water tank and the ability to use cleaning solutions, but for those with reasonably sized homes or looking for a secondary robot cleaner, it's an insanely attractive choice. Despite minor drawbacks like the cable issue, frequent returns to the base station for mopping and manual carpet marking, its performance at its price is impressive and incredibly competitive. So definitely go check out the product page via the link in the video's description. Now if you want to have all of the aforementioned features, you need to have a high-end model. So go check out this video first, because that's basically a subdivision or a shell ecosystem company that you might be interested in. Go check it out right now, because we've reached the end of the video. So I hope you liked it, and please consider subscribing, so that I see you in the next one.